Where's the baby? Can I poke my head inside? Look at the baby. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Cute. Yeah. I think it's hungry. Ant! God makes messy things beautiful when you put them in his hands. God makes messy things beautiful like only he can. After the showers, look for the flowers and you'll find out it's true to full. God makes messy things beautiful. Made his home. Flowers. <laughs> I like how the flowers are on the top. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. It be decorations. Oh, it's decorations? Yeah. Is the butterfly inside? Or is it a caterpillar? caterpillar. Oh, a caterpillar. Right where there, where is it? Right there. Right there. It's very is um, he up at the top? Yeah. Mom, oh my goodness, it's a huge one. I don't know if I can see it on the camera. That's his eye. That's his eye one. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those. Uh, here, I'm going to open this. Can you help me open the top so I can. All right, hold on. Let me stop this. You saw him and you put him in the cage? Yep. Okay, I don't want Whitaker to get it, but. Look. There he is. There he is. There's the barrel eye. Barrel eye. <laughs> There's the barrel eye. Come on, camera, focus. No! Yay! 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 Don't touch him. Don't leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> it's kind of dark, but. Yeah. That's cool. Yay! Wow. Okay. Let's close it back up. You gotta get it straight. There you go. <laughs> He's the caterpillar. Johnny. Johnny the caterpillar. They named the caterpillar Johnny. Electric lights would help a lot. He's looking though. Oh, he's he's alive. He's alive. He's he's alive. alive. He don't give him lots of food to eat. He's still alive. The glowing part burned out too fast. Don't give him lots of food to eat. Good job. What are you watching, Wood? Are you watching Storybots? It's really loud. No. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Where's he at? Oh, he's over here now. We should take him to the sofa. Well, you know, this kind of caterpillar... Ma. They don't realize it, but that actually is going to turn into a moth. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he's the kind that buries into the ground and then transforms. But I don't know. I'm just glad he's not up there eating our garden. <laughs> it's blazing hot out here. Marty and I, yes, with my pregnant self, um, we were moving all of these boards that we had up here, beams I should say, and there was a mouse family living under there. And they had two nests. The first nest was right here, and it had two babies in it, and there was another nest that's underneath, oh no, it's right there. Another nest that's right there, and it had two babies in it, and um, well, the mice, the mommy and the baby, or the mommy and the daddy mouse, took two of the babies and ran and we're hoping they'll come back for the other two babies but I wanted to film the babies before before they come back and I hope that they come back there's the baby can I poke my head inside look at the baby ah, ha, ha, ha. Cute. Yeah. I think it's hungry and there's another baby but I can't see it because it's underneath this beam and I'm not going to move the beam. Oh, did you see an ant? Whew, I'm hot. It's so hot out here. Come here, Audrey. You want to see the baby? Come over here and look over. What is it, Whitaker? No, don't touch. Don't touch. Ant! Audrey, come here. Come closer. Okay, Whitaker, move over. Audrey, come over here to this side. No, Okay, then come over here to this side. Hey, that's a mice egg. No, baby, mice don't lay eggs. Oh, 
You're right, Audrey. Birds and fish do. Come on, little baby. I see you moving. Not sharks. Oh. Yeah. My daddy's hungry, but I don't have any way of feeding it. I really want the mommy and the daddy I think to come back. The mommy got birth. The mommy got birth. She did. She gave birth to the little mice. What's a birth? <laughs> you know what birth is. You've watched goats give birth. What's a goat? What's a birth? It's when the baby comes out of the mommy. And loves? Uh huh. And yes, they do love. You give birth? Yeah, I have. I gave birth to you and Audrey and Whitaker, and now I'm gonna have baby Josie too. But you do, 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 do. And I'm gonna have baby Josie right here at the house. No, nope, Whitaker, don't touch. Oh, I totally missed that. He was walking and he did a split. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Hey, look at you with your big boy undies. Now they're dirty. <laughs> We're going in. It's too hot out here. It's torture. Uh, mommy doesn't like it. Uh, hot. As far as reading it for whatever might be on it, there are a couple of tips that you can uh, you can do. Uh, some people have done a very minor 10% uh, Clorox uh, bleach tank. Whenever you're going to plant the plants, they need a minimum of four inches of substrate. So if you have only about an inch or an inch and a half of substrate, the plants are less for very shallow plants or you're doing a, uh, uh, a ground cover, you're not going to do as well. Most all these plants, they want to have more uh, ground. But for this, we use a couple of tools. This funny thing is actually a sand flattener, and it's a great tool for actually getting the soil where you want it to without getting it on the fingers. They're very important. God made you special and he loves you he loves you God made you special and he loves you he loves you very much